Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome to part two of my prosthetic fabrication. It's not a lesson. An exercise for myself to get back into makeup effects. This is from part one. This is the sculpt on acrylic. And I meant to mention that try not to use hot glue on acrylic. You can remove it, but it's a huge pain in the ass. Don't do this. Silicone well preserved the sculpture. I could make another mold of this, which I, I just might. And here's the mold, of course. This is a Platzel Gel 25 Platinum Cure Silicone. got low viscosity good for pouring casting pour time of five minutes and demold time of 60 minutes you could accelerate the cure using heat they have additives accelerators and retarders and thickeners and whatnot I do not like using additives as in accelerators and retarders I believe that you jeopardize strength of your silicone if you use too much of that stuff so I use heat if I want to accelerate the cure of platinum silicone. Tin, you could actually submerge it in water. That's a condensation cure. And those are two main uh, silicones that the industry uses in mold making and makers use. Makeup effects artists, especially platinum. Yeah, so I pulled it. As I showed you, I trimmed the edges here. Might have to do a little more silicone rises up the side of the walls so you have like this ridge so if you want it to lay flat trim that off so next step is uh, I was going to get some inhibit X which is a chemical make a barrier because I'm going to use other platinum silicone to run my uh, prosthetics in and you could have bonding issues I'm going to be using release of course but even though you could jeopardize issues with bonding. But the Inhibit X, if I ordered it online with shipping, was like $75, nearly 80 bucks, I'm sure, with tax. I'm going to do the old-fashioned way. I treated this after I cleaned it with Trom jelly. I do have the good old man Ease Release 200 which I always use. This is a uh, staple. I use this all the time. Or I did, shall I say. This whole demonstration of me making this prosthetic is uh, trying to motivate myself to get back into this stuff. One way of doing it is just easy uh, flat mold prosthetic. So I'm going to be running silicone, but I'm going to encapsulate it with final cap bald cap material. Even though I have bald cap material that will go over this before I pour in the silicone, you still have the <coughs> Excuse me, you still have the chances of your casting material to bond to this mold. So, when I go to cast, I'm going to make sure Vaseline it up. This. Probably end up spraying, not spraying, sponging in the uh, bald cap material. Um, I don't feel like setting up my airbrush just for one little prosthetic, you know. That's big much. I just want to touch base on that. This is the demolding. Next part would be to prep and get ready to uh, put ball cap material and cast our first prosthetic. Oh, the uh, silicone I'm going to be using is EcoFlex 30. Smooth On makes it. Oh, by the way, Platzel is a Polytech company. It's from Brick and Yard Mold Supply. I use them along with Reynolds Advanced Materials. I love both places. They're great. I wish uh, Brick and Yard was closer. They're in near Dallas area, I believe, Texas. And I believe they opened up a, I'm not sure if it's still there, but in Atlanta, since the blow up of Netflix and whatever else up there, it's gone crazy. Maybe I should move up there, but uh, I'm too old. This is a hobby. I will work on films, short films, projects. I'd love to, but I'm not seeking a career. I'm too old for that. 
Right now it's a hobby, expensive one at that, and time consuming. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the views, and please subscribe. Stand by for part uh, three. Be casting our prosthetic. Thank you. Peace out.